Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre-market video for Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, a.k.a. Pivot Boss. First off, thank you very much for joining me yesterday for our Pivot Boss monthly market outlook, our second of the year. That one was a supersized edition, nearly 90 minutes strong. A lot of great content there. If you missed it or want to re-watch the session, you can click the video in the description below. All right, let's take a look here at the ES and the daily time frame. We've seen quite a move here over the last several days. Very unique strength, you know, not, not a unidirectional trending market the entire day. Instead, it's been a lot of quiet overnight action, range-bound action during the day, and then two strong hours at the end of the session. And then you start the process again, and two strong hours or so, a strong hour or two at the end of the session. And right now, it's looking very vertical at the moment. And while that's very bullish, and it's very clear how strong this market is in the short term, it's also very unusual, and uh, it, it looks very similar to what a, a move higher would look like in a bearish market or a still predominantly downtrending market. You have a very strong move here, a couple of waves downward, and now very aggressive bounce here. Uh, usually, when you see those aggressive bounces, they tend to be followed by another round of weakness at some point, at least some sort of shakeout leg ahead, whether it's all the way down uh, to these lows and then a trap occurs, or whether it's just a higher low opportunity, say off the FOMC key level, uh, some sort of pullback may be due here at some point that could offer an opportunity to get in cheaper ahead of what could be a continuation up. Uh, again, right now, testing uh, very important prior support from below. This is going to be important early on. Keep an eye on the previous session's uh, close here. A failure to hold that level, 45, 49 half, could open up a return to the previous session's midpoint at the very least, 45, 14 half, or perhaps even lower. All right, let's take a look here at the NQ. The NQ up also right now up a percent starting to show a little bit of a tail at the top end of the day's range again uh, this market very strong in the short term aggressively bouncing each of the last three days but really it's been uh, very unusual the way it's been done uh, on on this low day it was down most of the day and then around lunch it started to rally very nicely the next day sideways the entire time until the late day move the next day after that sideways until the late day move and now here we are today so big time stretching of this of this price range right now but again um, is it is it an indication that we might see another wave down here pretty soon so keeping an eye on 15k here early on to see if uh, price fails back below that zone. The previous session's close is going to be very important. That's about the 15120 zone. Uh, a failure to hold that level could open up a bit of weakness here. But overall, very strong move up. If we were to pull back or get some sort of shakeout leg, again, the FOMC key level down here could offer an opportunity to push this thing higher. All right, let's take a look at crude oil now. Crude oil remains strong, just hit a new high. 89.72 is the new high here, almost reaching that 90 print. One of the things we talked about in uh, our monthly outlook with regards to this one is the four-day narrow range has developed and how that four-day narrow range could lead to a six-day, a six-point move fairly soon. So if you look here, we can quantify this down. There's your four-day range. Right about there is about six handles uh, over the next four days. So beginning today, if today you know we have a very strong breakout and can hold this gains, and we could be looking from this low higher, about plus six. Uh, if for some reason this thing closes bearish here today, maybe that's a short-term top, and we push backwards uh, a bit, six points. That could put us down toward about 84. 89, or rather 83 to 84 before we bounce. Overall, um, a narrow range here. As soon as we get a very p strong pivot out of this range, we could be looking at some good directional conviction. Overall, very strong. Bullish Pima trigger zone, higher value relationship with the pivot range. Any pullback here 
could be an opportunity to push this thing much higher as we push through 90 and reach through the next zone above 93 and 96. All right, let's take a look now at Bitcoin. Bitcoin here trading 38.360 right now. Ever since that strong low here, it was actually it's actually done a pretty decent job of holding and pushing off of that low. Decent little rejection sequence there. Still a predominantly downtrend via the the Pima trigger zone, also the pivot range. Here's your midpoint of last month right there. That's around 40,000. So that's the level to watch. We got to really push through 40k and hold it by the end of the month in order to change the tide and get things turning around again. Uh, until that happens, we could theoretically come right into this zone and drop right again. So just being cautious in here and watching this 40k to see how it plays out. Another uh, push lower could be ahead, and if so, that may finally give us a shot to challenge the previous year's low and that major 29 to 30 CLVN. All right, let's take a look now at Ethereum here, Ether Futures. Again, day over day, outpacing Bitcoin just a bit. Uh, Ethereum's up right now marginally, whereas Bitcoin's down 0.6 of 1%. So, 6 tenths of 1%. So, again, day over day, whether this is up 4%, Bitcoin's been up just 1% or 2%. So, Ethereum clearly outpacing here lately uh, to the upside. Very strong move we've seen lately, but at the same time, still in a downtrending market inside the Pima, bearish Pima trigger zone, inside the lower value relationship, there's a risk of another drop here to come until proven otherwise. And that proven otherwise is that level still. That's about 3,000 here. If price can push back above 3,000 uh, based off the pivots here, it has a shot to turn around and keep on going to the upside. Uh, good news here to recover 20. 750 in that prior pivot that's generally bullish so even if we do turn down like we mentioned before does that mean a lower low here does that mean a good higher low to work off of if it's a higher low off 2400 for example that could provide a very solid rally up ahead all right that is it for now we'll see how this plays out the rest of the session good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trading room take care